A huge thank you to Adobe Express for sponsoring today's video. It. Anyway, good morning guys. Yesterday we had such a productive day in the studio. I actually ended the last studio vlog you will have seen where we went out in the van and I got everything off my to-do list done in that day which hasn't happened for the longest time. Hey where did that come from? Literally hasn't happened for the longest time. What I've been doing lately I've been in a bit of a funk. Anything that I've made in my to-do list and my planner I've kind of been doing it like the next day or the day after or even the week after uh, but I got every single thing done. It felt so satisfying when I finished the day, I can't believe it. My planet is looking very full this week because we are in the crunch to the autumn launch. And in this video, I am finally going to be getting to work on finishing these glass tumblers. Like I've dedicated a whole day tomorrow to get these glass tumblers done. And we need to sort out the technique. We already have printed and they turned out really good. Matthew's actually got a few of these uh, with Bumblebutt on, but I want to add some autumn designs on. So we're gonna make the autumn designs and then finally nail down the exact time settings and temperature. And I might even bulk make them so that they're ready and then create like a packaging sticker for the like tumbler box. Today is actually an admin -y type day so I've got some editing to do. I also have to upload the Patreon coupons because if you're part of the Marshy Club over on Patreon every month you get a fresh 15% off discount code from my shop and Etsy so you get 15% off everything and then I also want to schedule some social media which I've slowly started to get back into and I'll show you the little planner that I'm using currently to help me with my social media. So on my desk just over here I keep this little tiny notebook this is Electrum and I really love the paper of the Electrum in this like nice colour. I need to put a catnip sticker on here and I use this predominantly as kind of a to-do list so this was my Sakura launch that I went through, my Patreon plans and it's just a more in-depth to-do list but now I am kind of using it as like social media ideas so whenever I get a real idea uh, because I've been kind of in a funk about Instagram reels and just content ideas and I'll write down the ideas and I also write down my studio vlog ideas as well because I have sponsorships I have to keep up with what those contents are going to be about although most of the time the studio vlogs are just a week in the life and I sit down with you guys and record we've got some real ideas I ticked off what I did do and what I didn't do and I've come back to using this this week so this is kind of what I've been doing. Also, I need to wait for my mouse to get some good charge in it, so might as well make my planner look pretty. I really need to organize this drawer. Thank you. 
Ooh, this looks so yummy. Ah, a hearty meal. Do you get it? This is on a hot plate. Good morning, guys. So, there is something I actually want to talk to you guys about today. I've been using Adobe Creative Cloud for my small business for years now but i have something that is super exciting and i actually think a lot of you guys especially the small business owners will really really like and that is adobe express adobe actually reached out to me i can't actually believe it to sponsor today's video so huge thank you to adobe it's got so many cool unique and very innovative features say for example you're not necessarily great at graphic design but you wanted a really cool instagram feed or instagram story they have tons of different templates you could just type in and choose from or maybe for example you want to create a letterhead to look professional for your small business you can have a look at the thousands and thousands of different templates that Adobe Express actually has to offer. I'm actually a qualified graphic designer, that's what I studied in university, but I still use tools like Adobe Express. Adobe Express has added some new features and one feature that I think is really, really cool is their generative AI feature. So I have already mentioned a few times, if you watch these vlogs, that I have actually been using AI art to generate concept ideas for my illustrations. Let me show you how I personally create some creative concept art to use as inspiration for my illustrations. Let's imagine I'm creating the Primrose Apostle Witch Cottage. I'll type in a prompt that I want it to create and voila, it comes up with so many different creative concepts to choose from that you can use as inspiration for your own art or illustrations. So that's how I pretty much use AI to generate my concept art, which I think would be so cool for like a writer or even if you like play d and I think this is such a cool idea. Anyway, another feature I think is personally really really cool is the generative text feature. Say I wanted like a fluffy pink text I could literally just type it in and it would give me loads of different options generated through AI. My mind has been blown. Like what sort of generation do we actually live in that this is a possible thing? So if you guys want to try it out yourself and I definitely recommend checking out Adobe Express, it is free on desktop for everyone to use. Or you can actually have access like me to all the premium features if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. So I'll leave a link in the description box. Or you guys can also check out this QR code on the screen. A huge, huge thank you to Adobe for sponsoring in today's video. What an epic sponsorship. Anyway, let's get back to work, shall we? All right, so today is the day that I'm planning on getting these glass tumblers done. So I've actually been using the Pomodoro method and I've made a list of everything I want to get done today. Like make a list of the glass tumbler ideas, make the tumbler designs, print an experiment and create chunky mugs with them as well. It's a lot to do considering it's now quarter past one in the afternoon. So I came in today and truth be told, I had a sleep in this morning. My alarm went off, but then I ended up like thinking it was only five minutes, but I time warped an hour and a half ahead into the future. So let's get our book out and plan out the new glass tumbler, shall we?
turn this on and experiment. Last time we tried one tumbler, it was like buckling here, so we put two in at a time. So I'm going to press two, one with full bleed, a design with like a lot on it and one with less on. I'm going to see how it turns out and I think I'm going to turn down the time on it and um, turn it halfway around. Or maybe 190 and then turn it and do it for another 190. So that's a tumbler. This is honestly one of the things I hate the most about sublimation is this really awkward experimental phase because we go through so much waste but I'm going to save them if they're decent as seconds maybe. But I'm also going to use some more that's been on shelves for a while. So I'm going to experiment with a design that has a lot on it and then one that is less detailed, which I actually think will work better as a glass tumbler, but I'm just going to do an experiment and see which one works the best. I've left a lip here because last time I measured it, it went like over like this. So I have actually left some white in the design so I can salad tape it into place like this, which I've just realized is a problem for these full bleed ones. Right, let's try this. I really wish I could get this grass all the way to the bottom of the tumbler, but the problem is I can't do that because um, it will fade with it being curved. The only way you would get around this is you can actually get these really tight, like things that you like fold into place, but even then you get lines on it. So the best thing is just to do it above the curve here and then you won't get that faded look. Salad tape it in place. This feels like Blue Peter when I do these types of segments. Don't know if this is gonna work, so this is an experiment. This always makes me nervous. Make it nice and tight. I don't know if this one is gonna work, but we will soon find out. I don't know if you can see that in there, but there is a line. Can you see? So I actually need to Oh, I could actually trim it off here. Well, it's still a line because I haven't done it big enough. Right, I've just printed a new one. I've just expanded the outside. Oh, it's still a slight line. The only thing is, I've just thought the design like changes like here so it doesn't really go so i might have to change the design so it works on a full wrap i didn't think about that all right got my heat gloves on moment of truth Lay that one oh it needs more space Lay this one in here put them in press them and then i'm going to turn them around halfway through oh, i'm so impatient three Right, turn it around a bit so that the other bits do, and then clamp it back in. You can kind of see inside the glass tumbler where it's printing. Oh, please work. I really want to get these on my stall. Oh, this bit's always a nerve wracking bit because I just want it to work first time, but it never ever does when it's sublimation. It always takes ages to figure it out. 10 seconds to go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Peel of truth. Ah, I can't peel it with these gloves on. Woo! Oh, that one went a bit blurry and I think that's from turning it. Ah, how do I do it? I've got gloves on. Ah, it's very hot. Hmm, it went blurry at the bit. How am I gonna avoid that from happening? There, that bit's blurred a bit. Well, this one's like full on blurred because I, I don't know if it's because I turned it around mid point. Yeah, you might have shifted the print uh, a little bit. Yeah, I think I've done it here. So let me show you what I mean. This is the problem with the design. I have decided I don't think I'm going to do a full wrap like this design on the tumblers because I just, whoa, why are you moving? Hello? Why is it? Why was that moving? Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a full wrap. Um, 
some of you might like it but it's hard to see the design honestly uh, and I think it works better with bold chunkier designs but that was an experiment I'll just keep that for myself I'll give it to Matthew but what happened here as well because it's not uh, like you know a continuous design it kind of has like this line down it and as you can see it's blurred a little bit and it's also difficult to get it to line up at the top here like perfect so I think I'm going to scrap this idea this one looks great the only thing I would say about this one is I want to darken it a bit more because uh, it is a little more pale but here I don't know if you can see the flower there's a slight blur there uh, which I'm not too happy about but oh my gosh that actually looks really cute oh I nearly dropped it that looks really cute I just need to darken the print all right I'm going to experiment with an autumn leaves coffee please one Look in there. Ah, it seems to have burnt it. Whee! It's very hard to peel this. Whoa, that really made it blur. The colours look great though. I've just increased colours. So let me try and show you this one has actually worked. This one seems to have blurred really heavily on the border here. I've tried increasing the temperature and that's not working so i think i'm gonna have to resort to a youtube tutorial so i've just looked at a youtube tutorial or a few youtube tutorials basically when the settings that i've just experimented with like the heat was turned up and the temperature was turned up it was too hot so now i'm actually turning the temperature back to 180 and I watched a video that said she actually presses twice at 280 seconds so she presses turns and presses again it's blurred again and I think the issue might actually be the mugs we've got oh it hasn't blurred <gasps> it hasn't blurred oh that looks well better the other ones looked really faded but that one looks wait has it really not faded <gasps> it really hasn't well let's try this one though don't get our hopes up yet don't get our hopes up <laughs> oh, I can't get it off maybe I need to wait for it to cool down It worked! Guys, it worked! Yay! So I made sure to salitate the top and bottom so that it couldn't like move and then I turned it around again for the full time. I don't think I've got any blurring. Celebratory humour! <laughs> I made sure to put the main design face down on the tumble press. So this is just a sample of the colour differences. As you can see the purpley one is a little bit more bold and you can see the design a little bit better there. But I don't like the purple colour. I do want it to be a little bit more brown like the ones next to it. So I'm just going to get rid of the purpley colour but then hopefully have it like a darker brown. And then the autumn leaves one, I'm actually really happy with these two. I think they look really really nice i can't decide whether to actually make this design a bit smaller um you know so you can see it a bit better on one side rather than it bending round yay dean is finally fixing the blinds woohoo go dean yay oh, i'm so happy that one's worked see if this one has oh i can't believe it we did it oh uh, yeah that looks way better so let me give you a little sample of what the new autumn leaves one looks like so that was the one before as you can see it wrapped around so it was a little harder to see the design so i just changed it to slightly smaller i did a few more leaves ah it's hot and it looks great so that's it now so i just thought the smaller design looked a little bit better 
um because you could see it more like at the front if that makes sense and then i did the same for the cozy night pumpkin spice one which is like a little ice latte glass all right i've just finished printing a bunch more we've got some more of these grass ones which i really really like i like how minimal these are i think uh with an iced coffee in the top i think they're gonna look really pretty i'm actually gonna take one home uh, for me for iced coffee i might take this purpley one home actually i might sell that one as a second which one's the worst one this one and then i might uh yeah make my iced coffees out of that one and then we've got two of them and i think i'm happy with the colors so if you can see it's slightly darker than the one in the middle there but it's not as purpley as this one. Oh, I am so glad that I managed to finally do the technique on them. It's always going to be tricky to get everything completely perfect because obviously we're not a factory. Uh, I'm glad I managed to get the technique down to be honest. I started illustrating some pastel witch uh, stickers that they're going to be but I'm going to use those designs on the mugs as well so that there's a pastel witch uh, tumbler and something i'm very excited about is my brand new box of enamel pins that i've just come in but i think i'm going to save that for the next vlog i can't believe they've arrived i'm so excited to see what they're going to look like anyway i'm going to go do some food shopping and finish some work up at home blind in the studio. This one is my favourite. The two pastel witch ones. So pretty. It looks like bumblebots flying around. Oh my goodness, I am so. Oh, my desk is going up. I must have touched it with my belly. I am so happy with these tumblers. I'm glad we managed to figure it out. One thing I'm a little sad about, if I'm gonna to be totally honest, is I wish they weren't translucent, but it's just the nature of sublimation inks on a translucent substrate. You can't help it uh, because the inks aren't opaque with sublimation, but they do look so pretty. If you put milk in or anything white, it will look great and iced coffee as well. Um, obviously when you mix the iced coffee, it goes brown. I think this actually might be my favorite one. Oh my gosh, I keep doing this. How do I lock this deck? with bumble butt and then as we turn around we've got all the mushrooms and stuff i just think that's such a cute like drinking glass oh i love them and then we also have the cozy one so we've got six tumblers in total so i'm really really excited about them but i'm gonna end this vlog here i'll see you in the next one when it'll be crunch time to launch and we will also be experimenting and seeing if we can actually sell jumpers i'll see you in the next one all right then Thanks so much for watching, I love you, come on!